Hi folks, uh, just thought I'd do a short today, just talk on the subject of frugality or the act of being frugal. The word frugal is defined as sparing or economical as regards money or food. And um, we'll take the food context out of that. Let's talk about the money side of things. <clears throat> so it's fair to say when most people think of frugal living lifestyle, they imagine someone living off tempe noodles and avoiding spending money at all costs. Whilst that might be true in extreme cases, and you certainly see cases on TV, uh, in programmes, you know, hoarders and whatever you're in, um, but more and more people, uh, particularly younger people, are coming round to the idea that frugality is in fact a way of being more discerning with your money. Your frugal personal person won't buy £10 cheap trainers. Instead, he'll buy more expensive, sturdy shoes that might last him 10 or 15 years. And that's the essence of frugality. It's not so much spending money lightly, it's spending it in a more discerning way. So another example would be comparing someone who buys uh, an expensive coffee most days. They might go to Costa or Starbucks. Uh, they'll buy a coffee. They maybe buy a, I don't know, a flapjack. And they'll do this two, three, maybe even four days a week. Um, compare that with a frugal person's response. What a frugal person might do is buy a coffee machine. It might cost them £100. And the pods might cost, I don't know, um, in the case of Dolce Gusto, you're talking 16 pods for about £354. And that coffee machine is going to last him a few years. So, you know, what he'll do is he'll make his coffee in the morning, he'll put it in a thermos flask and he'll take it to work or on his commute. And he, he quickly realises that that coffee machine um, is saving him money. It might take him two, three, maybe even four months to make his money back. But in the long term, it's saving him money. And that is the frugal response. So that's all I wanted to just touch on today is just the idea of frugality. Um, another example of footwear is my wife bought a pair of Ugg boots. I remember uh, buying them as a sort of Christmas present and they were very expensive. I'm like, Julie, I, I hope you wear these boots. And not only did she wear them, but she continued to wear them for years and years and years to come. She's still got them. And no, they were a great pair of boots. And that's really what I like to take away. I'd urge you to practice frugality, but spend your money with purpose. It's not about being cheap, it's about being discerning. I hope you took something from that. It's just discuss the concept. And I'm going to try and do a few of these shorts in the next few uh, days, weeks, months. And then hopefully that will get the channel back up and running since it's been too long since I posted anything. Have a wonderful day. I'll speak to you soon.